somebody some of them ate them. But uh, I, 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 I will say I this. I went over there quite a bit. Well, yeah. I, I will say this. Is this the last time we see the Battle Bowl? Uh, you know, I hadn't given that thought, but you know, I wouldn't rule it out. You know, certainly if it's such a successful um, part of this promotion, we could make this a yearly event. You know, kind of like how the Royal Rumble gives the uh, number one contendership at WrestleMania. Uh, the powers that be that could uh, get with me, we could also maybe do Battle Bowl as a yearly event uh, to crown a new Heritage Champion. Of course, at that time, we may not have the title up for grabs, but we could certainly give the number one contendership to one of 32 competitors. Well, I'm, Eddie, I'm going to jump in. Don't mean to cut you off. That was me calling you to let you know that uh, I'm going to win the next one. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's, it's kind of interesting, uh, Mr. Sawyer, that you pick up the mic. Um, seems like you and one J-Rod really didn't seem to be getting along there. I know you were on opposite sides of the ring, but uh, there was a, definitely some saliva exchanged back and forth. Uh, a little something extra behind that? Well, J-Rod and me go way back, back before he got the, uh, I will say his attitude has improved since the last time I saw him. But uh, as he recalls, I'm sure, well, he may not recall, actually. Uh, the last time I saw him, I hit him so hard with a set of brass nuts. He was out for about three days. So uh, so he may not even remember that, but uh, that's one of the greatest days of my life. I'll never forget. Now, one thing I'd like to ask, and this is something that we kind of put to the Washington Bullets and some of our other guests here on the show, this our special edition. What are you personally, Johnny Slaughter, from this entire scenario, from the Battle Bowl, from the legal, Lethal Lottery, getting a chance to see so many different competitors, so many possible opponents, not to mention possible allies? What do you take away from a night like this? I thought it was a great night, a lot of talent. Uh, I was proud to be a part of it, and I could go all cliche or... Uh, my only regret is that I didn't, uh, I didn't lose. You know, I made a mistake. I don't normally do that. I definitely don't do that twice. So, uh, guarantee if there's another battle bowl, there'll be a different outcome. Now, I'm going to turn the same question over to you, Shane Knowles. Coming out of the night like this, which is a promoter's dream because of the outcome, but a promoter's nightmare in the making. You've got so many logistical headaches that you have to get through. You're dealing with so many different types of talent, not to mention so many people. Um, not to mention you're trying to get everything in place, whether it be the concessions, whether it be backstage, whether it be parking, admissions, making sure you've got the right